What's up, guys? Welcome back for another week on the channel. Today, we're going to be going over something super fun, kind of following up with our video from last week, and that's going to be how to buy elite running backs in Dynasty Fantasy Football. Last week, we went over how to buy elite wide receivers. This week, I'm going to come at you with a running back video real quick before we get going if you haven't had a chance please hit subscribe below it's a big help and i really appreciate you guys coming back to the channel and checking out the video so let's get this kicked off before we take too long first one how are we going to go get Bijan robinson onto our dynasty fantasy football team i'm going to come at you with some different ideas on how to attack finding stud running backs to get onto your team this first one is going to be with players specifically wide receivers, so a position to a different position kind of trade. This one I'm going Garrett Wilson and Marvin Mims. I do love Garrett Wilson, and most of the time, this is not going to be about the other side of this trade. This is just ideas to get you going around because certain team builds can really do certain types of trades. Maybe you're really deep at wide receiver, but you are missing a stud running back. And this class is not super deep, so you may have to look elsewhere to acquire that stud young running back. So this one, Garrett Wilson and Marvin Mims. I do think Bijan is higher rated than Garrett Wilson startup value wise, which is why I'm okay adding Marvin Mims on top here. I talked about Mims being someone I'm okay trading away. So I think he may be a kind of good player who's still young. He still has a little hype, but maybe adding him on top of Garrett Wilson could get you someone like Bijan Robinson. This next one's going to be a pick trade, but with a high pick to go get Brees Hall. And that's going to be one three in a super flex league. And then I'm adding on the fourth here just to make it even on keep trade cut, you know, 26 fourth kind of just a throw away to make the values line up here, but one, three in a super flex league, that's going to be Jaden Daniels, Drake may JJ McCarthy, your pick of QB, or most likely Malik neighbors uh, is another guy here. And this is kind of going to be one of those things where if you need a running back, and the other guy's trying to get a different position, maybe go wide receiver, maybe go quarterback, but find it through the draft. This is an idea that you could toss around to maybe go attack one of these stud running backs, especially one of the young ones as Brees Hall, who's really set to kind of have that three-year window moving forward after his knee injury. And just how he finished last year, I'm very confident Brees Hall is going to be a good player for the next couple of years. Third idea here, and this is going to be more of using some late picks, a couple first. That's going to be 112, a 25 late first, assuming your team's going to be good again and a third to go get Jameer Gibbs. I probably would make that last one a second if I really want to go get Gibbs. This would be targeting a team that's trying to rebuild, and maybe they just don't want to roster a running back in that specific kind of timeline for their team. I'd be willing to throw a couple firsts at them, especially if they're going to be late by your guess, if you're a competitive team. And the reason I'm doing this is this draft class, there may not be that stud running back. There may be some good depth guys that come out of this class if they land in a specific place. You know, maybe someone lands on the Cowboys and we love it or the Chargers, et cetera. But when it comes to those young stud running backs, we got a couple last year. I don't know if we're going to get them this year. So you may have to use your picks to go attack these different players like a Jameer Gibbs. Uh, and it'd be willing. I really love Gibbs situation. He's a great pass catcher. I'd imagine he's even more involved this year than he was last year in Detroit. Um, Monte's a good compliment to Gibbs, but we all know Gibbs is upside. And the last one here, and this is the weirdest one. I'm not saying I recommend this for all teams, but I do think there may be a few certain teams that getting Christian McCaffrey and Travis Kelsey on your team and making that one final run for the title, or maybe you're going for back-to-back -back titles and you need that firepower. This is trading Jordan Addison and Chris Olave, which is not something that I would necessarily recommend but to get someone like christian mccaffrey on your team you do have to wow people i think chris olave and christian mccaffrey is an interesting value thing and i do think you'd probably have to add on top of olave to get mccaffrey and then to get kelsey as well it's a very weird one how high are you going to attack these tight ends in a super flex maybe it's tight end premium league which would probably be more likely to make this kind of trade and i like jordan addison Spoke about maybe moving on from him, depending on what you could get, just because I don't know if he has the upside of someone like even Chris Olave in this same trade. But when it comes down to it, this is probably the riskiest trade I went over today, and I'm not recommending this to anyone. But sometimes to get running backs, you do have to pay quite a bit, and they can be very hard to find in dynasty leagues. We have such a wide receiver resurgence, or people love wide receivers, that there are some windows to maybe get some of these stud running backs on your team. But there's just so few young stud running backs that it can be very hard to acquire them. So sometimes you have to be willing to pay up if that's the kind of build 
you're going to go with. So thank you guys for tuning in to the channel. Hope this video was helpful. How to acquire stud running backs in Dynasty. Like I said, this really is a team-by-team -team basis. It's not recommended for everyone, but you know your team, you know your strengths, you know your weaknesses. Maybe you have a bunch of wide receivers, a bunch of picks, but you need that running back to put you over the top. So thanks for tuning in. Please hit subscribe and like the video and tune in later this week for more videos. I appreciate it, y'all, and peace.